Hello, welcome back to some more Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode, what we did was we went and uh, got a sword. We met Fi. We've got interesting things going on. Now we're going to go to the surface. There's lots of things in Skyloft that you can't do anything with until you have the uh, relevant information. Hello. Hey, look up there. It's Beedle's Air Shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop and I have you hang ring it. Beedle will stop for you pick you up. But that bell's up off the ground. You'd have to launch something out to have any open ring in it. I can't launch anything yet, I'm afraid. Right. See you later. Let's right, so have a look on the old map. That's where I've got to go. There are a few islands around that I can do things with. Yeah, I'm going to see the island names. It's interesting that the zoom rotates around. Is it based on my facing? Yeah, it's based on my facing. Okay. I think I can put pips down and like put markers down and stuff on the map. At least I, I remember being able to do that. But I'm going to head in this direction towards this island over here. So all these little orbs have things going on though. Sometimes quite interesting. That's an octopus. Okay. No, see, that's just enemies. I have no way of defending myself in the air yet, so I can't do anything about that. I always forget what I can and can't actually do on the on the air to begin with, but I can have a look at least. Yeah, I can't use gyro. I could use gyro aiming to fly and stuff, but I can't use any motion controls because I haven't got the Joy-Cons and stuff using. This bit seems down here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, my, I've decided my Loftwing's name is uh, Scarlet. I don't know why. I mean, obviously it's red, but I don't, I don't know why Scarlet specifically. Okay, so there's another chest I can't open yet, but that's fine. Alright. Yahoo! Yahoo! Step right up, boy! Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here! A little bit, yeah. Oh, just the answer I was looking for! What a smart little guy you are! I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask, or even if you didn't ask? I call it Fun Fun Island. I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colours. Sorry. I do love fun and colours. Just saying. Right, so if I'm going to go out to the other islands, I need to face where Link's facing now, which is over there. Okay. Oh, we. Sometimes there's not a lot going on in an island, but sometimes there's quite a lot going on in an island. So those, yeah, those two bits, they're all steel chests. I can't open them, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I am going to have a fly round and see if I can see any named islands to explore. That's a twister. I'm going to go over there. I wonder if there's a way to fly faster in this. Because I know in Wind Waker, for example, people complained about the speed of flying was quite slow. Uh, and the speed of sailing was quite slow in uh, Wind Waker, and they uh, made it faster by giving you the fast sail. 
as a thing you could buy. I wonder if there's a way to make the flying faster in this. Because the, the hardware's got more horsepower, it can handle going a bit faster. So the twister nicks, you fall off your uh, loft wing. Obviously. You can tell. Because that's what just happened to me. So eventually, once I've done this like flying um, around the perimeter, I'll cut out the bits where I'm flying from place to place and just show you what when I get there. But for the first time I fly around everything, I'll show you what it looks like because it's, it's interesting. And if there's a story specific thing I'm doing with the flying, then I'll show you the flying obviously because I want to actually fly. I'll have a look on the map now. There's an island just to the left of me. Oh, there's a chest on it and nothing more. Okay. There's also the pumpkin island over here which I want to go to next and there's these circular islands around here that I want to go investigate. Now I remember the pumpkin island. Alright oh, Octox, how are you doing? Oh boy! Can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. You just have to aim vaguely downwards to get the speed boost. Yeah, I do like having been able to just like launch yourself off of the thing. And then just drop whenever you feel like you need to. Welcome. <laughs> Any more? Like the lumpy pumpkin. Hi. Hey, well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit that you're here for a Skyloft night. <laughs> Hope you'll make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking you can get these down, you hear? You might think that you could knock the rupees down by bumping something makes the chandelier shake, but don't even think about it. Are we clear? Aye. Welcome to every bird rider's favourite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. It's the one and only place you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. What do you think? Want to try a bit and see what all the buzz is about? Yeah, sure, why not? Mm. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rupees a bottle, interested? Fill them up. If you don't have an empty bottle, you might be able to drink soup when you've got nothing to drink from. Come see me again when you found an empty bottle. For fuck's sake. Use this prick. I mean, what? Nothing. <laughs> you really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission, you that scallion bastard. Don't need to be behind the counter either. <laughs> hey, listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a demon. He's obviously trying to get Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. Demons, eh? You believe me, don't you? Sure. I know, right? You're a good kid. Believe what? What do I believe? There's a fiendish demon living in Skyloft. I'm telling you, I came this close to getting eaten by that evil beast. You know they've got a little night training, but you better keep your guard up or I'll take a bite out of you too. I'm not crazy. He's crazy. I'm telling you. Crazy. <laughs> oh, hey, Joey. Oh, I didn't think I'd see you here, but I bet you wouldn't know what I'm doing here. I think I mentioned this before, but man, am I really into bugs. That's why I'm out collecting insects when I think I'll find them. If you have a bug net too, you should try catching some. If you don't have one, you can pick one up at Beetle's Air Shop. I'm sure that sweaty shopkeeper's flying around Skyloft now. Skyloft is only a flap or three to the northwest. Oh, shit. Oh, why would you do that? Get coming down, get down and come here this instant. 
I'm sorry. No roughhousing on the balcony. Big Books has caused the chandelier to shake. Yes, but I wanted a piece of heart, you see. You've got a piece of heart. Fet forward to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. Alright, mate. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free. Do you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me? Got that? Are you ready to own up your missile responsibility? Of course. <laughs> That's right, and I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need to deliver my famous soup to Eager, Skyloft's Night Commander. The Night Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Yep. Oh. Hey, you haven't got an empty bottle. You need an empty bottle if you want a case soup. Go get yourself one and come back here. Alright, fine. No, I'll do. I'll drink my. I'll drink my potion. How about that? It's a waste of money, but it doesn't matter. Always forget to let, let go of the wrong one. Glug 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 glug. Well, I've got an empty bottle now. Oh, soup or an empty bottle? Like what you asked. All right, then here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the night commander. You got some hot pumpkin soup. Some of soup is pumpkin specialty. But watch it, I'll get cold in five minutes. Listen up, kid. The night commander hates cold soup, so you're gonna take this hot soup over to him. I say you got to deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Alright, quick. I'm off, I'm going. Don't worry about it, mate. I'm on it. The sky loft! Dun 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 if it's anything like Ocarina of Time, trying to warp to go faster would make it go instantly cold. They know about your little tricks. Just the game player. That's like a low poly version of um, Skyloft. Because I don't. Yeah, I think if you jump off, it actually like warps you. Yeah. To the rough location. Because Skyloft's big enough that to put all the NPCs and stuff on the actual little version would be a bit silly. Night Commander. Night Commander. All right, mate. Hey. hey, Joe. Have you been working on your swordsmanship? Hmm, I smell something. Oh, I know that earthy <laughs> aroma. Isn't that my favourite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver some to me. That's right. Ooh. Yes, give it to me. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so good. Ugh, this is the stuff. Some pumpkin soup is best piping up. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we'll do. And I just do Link delivers soup to the people for the rest of his days. That I'd be fine with that, honestly. The whole game is just deliver soup to the various people of Hyrule or Skyloft, I guess. Yeah. I wondered if they'd change that. They didn't. Watch your step there. Haven't they taught you at the Academy of the Knights? Must be vigilant. Sharpen up or you'll never make it to knighthood. Um, you have to jump off of a platform to be able to use your lad. You can't just do it anywhere. So I have to do this to get the dive to go. The monster dive's going. It's not so bad, but... To the skies. I'm gonna fucking dive bomb straight down here. It's a fucking bird with some rupees. Oh, yeah, I have to I think I have to actually Oh, I think I have to charge into it. It's easier said than done, but I'm gonna try. Hey, I clearly hit you. 
I feel like I hit you. Come on, lad. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Was it worth it? Uh, maybe. 20 rupees is still 20 rupees, especially in the early game when I haven't got much. So you delivered the soup to Aegis. I also tracked your pay from the bill for the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I'm already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm going to need some time to think about this though, so come back and see me later. Okay. No problem. There's a bunch more chests and things outside that I need to investigate. It's going to get added to my gun as well. I'm a regular hooligan. But, oh well. Let's dive off. Towards the green light of dreams, but not yet. Got that shit to do first. Uh, check these islands out as well. They're around the perimeter. The hard part is remembering where all the things are. At some point, what I would probably do, and I will do, is get a map of Skyloft with all the chests and things on, and then just go through them systematically to uh, find where they all are. There's nothing worse than getting some, but missing others and all that. When you're just trying to search for all the items. And you know where they are, it's just because you've been there, it's just trying to remember where to go. Some promising looking areas over here. So this is about, I need bombs to get in there. I don't think about bombs. Alright lads. to here. Like a shovel spot or something. How to work the day. Those who have business with me can find me here at night. Beetle. Ah. Okay. So if you want to wait till night time when you don't have the way to get to his shop, you can go over there and get it. There, what about underneath? Got some kind of pool that I need to be able to dive, which I don't think I can do yet. But that's a, that's a no goer. There's a blue bird over there, or bird of the blue rupee at least. Not quite the same thing as a blue bird. Sorry, Scarlet. I'm going in. Right. Whoa, is that you, Joey? Never thought I'd run into you here. What is this place? This here is my secret spot where I come to work the kings out of my sword arm. There was a time when I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade, but as you know, time passes. And I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed, and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So what drives me? If, so what drives a fella here to chop some bamboo? That, let me tell you, there's never a way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Joey. Why don't you try slicing off some bamboo? Sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold up a second, get your horses holded. There's gotta be a way to spice things up a notch or three. Hmm. Uh, yes, let's stick it right there. 
You're going to take a swing at whittling down that big old bamboo right there in the middle of the room. Thing is, see, it's a contest to see how many kuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll stroll out of here with a prize. It costs you ten rupees to see what you're made of. You want to give it a go? You bet. All right, then. Get to slicing. Just about. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Shit. Fourteen times. I, I don't want to wiggle back and forth. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's count those cuts. Your score this time is 14. Mm. You're not lighting any records on five of that score, son. You've got to get at least 15 cuts. Chopping over concentration. This is a pie prize for sloppy slicing. Mm. Well, look at that. Now that I take a gander, the thing is clearly going to have a stubby little sword. You did mighty well considering that. See, the longer the sword you've got, the easier it is to zip through that bamboo like a loaf of warm butter. If you get yourself a longer blade in the future, come back and try again. You'll be surprised a little extra steel can do for your chopping score. Come on back whenever you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword arm. I'll do better than 14. Uh. Don't worry. I'm in. Current high score is 14. You're going to need your A game to top that. Uh, Alright then, get to slicing. I'll do better. Six! Okay, I'll see you when I do better. Better than I thought I would. <laughs> there we go. Thirty two. Hold up, son, you're all done. Let's count those cuts. The score this time is thirty two. Who are we? A new record. Way to go, kid. Yeah. That is one humdingalinger of a score. I only reached that number a few times myself. Here's your prize. You got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds possess this sky blue plumage, making these feathers extremely rare. Come on back whenever you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword arm. But let's see. If I do it one more time, how many do I need to go to get? Current high score is 32. You're going to need your A game to top that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit. I, I was going too fast still, so I was still spinning. Uh, no. But I definitely need more, uh, a longer sword to do it better. Okay, uh, right, so that's that. Bamboo Island and clean cut. We've got... I can't fly into to Beetle Shop, so I think, unless there's something else over here. I'm basically done. Don't think there's anything else, though. I see you, little shitbird. One green rupee. Yeah. Okay, pressing ZR also gets off the bird. Today I learn. Okay, missed. I'm not going to go back for one rupee. There's desperation, then there's desperation, you know what I mean? them alone. To the green light of justice and dreams. Oh, 
very cloudy sky. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing ZR before landing. Master Joey, we've revived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. With my calculation, oh, by my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location known as the Seals Grounds. Okay, sealed grounds. Here's where I am. Hello. Please proceed with caution, Master. So the way these guys work, you have to cut them in certain ways to kill them. And then if you do it right, they die. And if you don't do it right, they live. Cool. They also drop gear and items sometimes. Hello? Hello? I'll ignore that big black stake in the ground for now. Um, I'll like, eat this heart. So what here mode changes? There's no longer any of these heart plants or anything. You um, mostly have to get things on your own. But there are places to sit down all over the place, and they heal you, and they heal you even in hero mode. So you're supposed to use those to heal. I wonder if I could Skyward Strike it. Hmm. Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful and identified force. Okay. You can't get in. You can't get in there, fish. Not for you. I, I need to see what's on the other side. I don't think there's anything on the other side, but I need to I need to see. I must know. I'm fairly sure it's literally nothing. It's just a way to get around. Why is it here, you ask? Fuck knows. But it, it exists. Okay. 
But you can see where Breath of the Wild got some of its influence from this game. Some of its systems. The durability of items, the you know. Breath of the Wild took it a bit far for some people. Like, you know, you got a sword that breaks in four hits. It's a pretty shit sword. But once you get the Master Sword, that's mainly fixed. You take the other weapons because they are sometimes slightly more powerful, but they are breakable. Anyway, so there's this path and there's this path. But this is very blocked. I may have no choice but to go down to the middle. Alright. Let's investigate. If it, if it bings at you, you need to do it otherwise you're going to take damage. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil or unleash its power. Master Joey, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Yeah, sure. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. door. I may now enter. Thank you. Please allow me passage. Sealed temple. Vitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Luckily, my sword doesn't have durability in this game. So I'm going to swing with abandon. Go absolutely crazy. So, this is the first. Also, you can keep fairies in bottles. I don't have a, a bottle. You found a fairy. It's a playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. And also does it when you die. Yes, this is how you're supposed to heal. In, in hero mode, you heal by sitting down. It's not necessarily how you're supposed to heal, but you can heal. Even in normal mode, you can use it to heal. But you take so little damage in normal mode, half damage compared to normal, uh, that you just don't need to. Really. Hello, old one. Oh, the traveller descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Joey, ha, ah, Joey, good, very good. 
I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Joey? You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yeah? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the oh, the X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be travelling in unfamiliar land, many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location and will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. Okay. Ah. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a useful beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go now, you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you in your journey. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Joey, go bravely. Okay. Welcome. To Farron Woods. Lots of, uh, lads. Just friendly lads, you know. Hey, we need to get all these bugs and butterflies and shit. There's so many catching things I have to do. Oh, out of the way! Scram! Oh, it's just the way they guard. Golden skull. Oh, thanks for jumping in there. Just rescue me, bud. Just who are those red pests? I did not expect you into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. Tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Oh, you're big for taking care of those guys. So let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, but I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there's some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks. So they're travelling up to the sky, or down from this Isle of the Goddess, uh, oh, from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumoured to be quite useful. It's probably this statue specialist is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all those statues be all over the place? It is a real head scratcher, but it makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, but you'd better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on this sky and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up, everyone, up there, everyone reveres the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess is even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. 
The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh, the weather, but not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That's the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. Mm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure. Ooh. Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. Cannot get enough of it. Wish I had more to tell you now, but I need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump to you, I'll give you the latest info. Whoa! Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? Gimme, 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 gimme. You got a golden skull, a rare, real rarity among skull elements. It shines with an eerie golden colour. Let's have a look. Beyond. The, behind the temple. I'm going to save here and could call it a day. See you guys next time when we go. Mm. Goro! Ooh. What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I, I, I've got to know. Hey. I have to examine this statue further, but who knows what I might find out. I'll see you guys next time when we explore these woods a bit more and see exactly what's what. See you then. Goodbye.